So for aircraft maintenance, uh, Unit 72, you can see because I'm using a spanner, right? Uh, using a spanner, not um, a spanner. As you can see on this one, just a quick refresh about uh, this. I think this is P8, okay? If you ask to talk about maintenance planning and the task asks you, uh, I'll check if that's P8 or P9. Look on the assignment, okay? Right, uh, two different types of maintenance planning. One is equalized, so if we, if we put that as year one, up to year six right so that's a six year kind of period planning aircraft in for maintenance and this one here i'll just get a slightly better pen okay so if we do that there we go so you have your c type checks on that one uh, followed by a large d type check where you put it in that i'll just draw a little picture this way it goes in the hangar um for up to about well maybe like three weeks to a month okay so on here you can see your equalised check is uh, equalised equalised maintenance is you do a C type check and then if we take all the C checks in that six year period and we take about I'll just colour it in red so if you take about that much of a chunk out of the and you, you divide the, divert that up into about four bits and then you add that onto there right all you're doing with equalized this is sometimes called phased as well so this is equalized or phased right so what you're doing is with it with this d check here on the block type uh, system you uh you have your aircraft in every couple of years or every sort of 18 months and it, it has a big c check and it has a like, different sized c checks depending on what work needs to be done on the airplane so for example all the mechanical work that might take a little bit longer if it's just upgrading software and checking wiring and things uh, but if it's totally stripping down engines and things and to send them away for testing and then coming back with it if it's cleaning out fuel tanks if it's stuff that requires um, large components to be taken off and, and then serviced and put back on it might take a bit longer than the other seat check so these may be the block type is different sized blocks that's the key thing the block type is different sized periods of what we termed in the classroom were termed at hard time maintenance which is where the aircraft is not making any money okay so hard time maintenance on block slightly more hard time maintenance on block right on the block system these are just two systems that financiers or, or managers of, of, um, of airlines can use to sort of fit around demand okay so um depending on how many hangers you've got available and what sort of maintenance stuff you have available whether you use contractors and, and contract your maintenance out to other companies or whether you have your own maintenance engineers so regardless of that two systems one is you have your aircraft in every it's basically that every so often the aircraft comes off the line goes in the hangar and gets checked over this one has a large d type check at the end right and th this one here if we're using this phase system we don't do a d check what we do is we take all of the stuff in red that would be in a d check and we basically equalize it out on the different maintenance periods so you're doing the same maintenance if you if you put all these blocks together you would find they would make a block the same size theoretically over a period of six years don't quote me on that one because this is just kind of like i've knocked this up with a few pens right so don't get your measurements out and you will as and give it what for <laughs> right um okay so you can see there's the d check d check type stuff it is spread out among the the c checks it is equalized on all the c checks now the advantage of the c check is that the aircraft is on the ground for less time okay the same maintenance is happening but in shorter periods there's not as much downtime okay the disadvantage is if you get a curveball now that can be anything like like something that's unexpected um like for example you've got to fit um extra protect after 9 11 they had to fit extra security to the doors of the aircraft that came in and then obviously when you had your d check and you had the aircrafts out of out of uh, service for like a month nearly a month three weeks you've got plenty of time to put that major modification in so if we put a major modification in on the cards now and we say it takes it's going to take that long to put in yeah as you can see that that doesn't fit in any of our c checks okay but what we could do is in our d check we could fit it in the d check obviously it, that's assuming you can do other work around it yeah 
so yeah while you're doing the, the stuff on the d-check and it's on the ground you can then start the, the upgrade process for whatever this major modification is yes um, so that major modification call that mm as you see on the block system it fits in on this system it doesn't fit in now you might think why not just make our c checks a bit longer right and that's okay the c check system is designed so i'm going to draw some different airplanes on now so we'll get rid of the um the color coding right and i'm now going to say that this c check we've got a black airplane and we've got a green one and we've got a blue one and we've got a red one yeah and the idea is that we'll see checks if I put the red one in there I don't need these the right size never mind you get the idea what's after that yeah. so you can see there that with the equal the, the, the way the equalized system is designed it's basically so that you can have your airplanes you, if you've got one hanger you can have the airplane constantly you have four airplanes constantly going in and out of the hanger whereas that doesn't work on this system if all the blocks aren't the same size you, it's not as efficient as utilizing hanger space because it means you have to kind of have two hangers on the go or two maintenance facilities on the go yeah so with this one you can't just extend one out because it impacts the other aircraft in the fleet and they won't fit in the blocks right you can't fit them in together hopefully that explains why the block system is better for fitting in a major modification or better for fitting in something that you haven't foreseen that was going to happen to the airplane like maybe there's a problem like the a320 no sorry the 737 max which had a problem with its flight control system and they had to do some research to see if it could fix it or, or, or like retrain people or whatever they did with that that time fits in this system better this system is better with coping with coping with things that aren't quite happening to plan so this is slightly more flexible for major modifications this one here allows more flexibility to keep the aircraft in the air longer okay so this is better for making money this is better for fixing it and keeping it safe it's not as simple as that if anybody's watching this who actually plans this stuff for real um they're going to say you know you're an idiot what you're talking about but remember this is just to get the idea of the concept up to level three students coming straight from school who have never seen an aircraft maintenance facility operate before okay um right so that's equalizing block servicing you've had a lesson on that already so hopefully that was a recap for you uh, and then we'll talk about i'm going to check how much time's left on the camera we're going to keep talking a little bit about uh, the next part of the maintenance assignment uh, four okay the camera's still going so maintenance assignment four what we're looking at is um i to find me rubber which is gone right i'll leave that out there for now maintenance assignment four um what we're basically looking at is uh the, the next task is talking about aircraft maintenance manuals structural repair manuals and then i'm going to have a look and rewrite the assignment a little bit to see how what, what the easiest part of the paperwork because it, it the way the, the BTEC criteria works is there's a big chunk of stuff I have to teach you, which is what we've done in the hangar anyway when we've been doing the maintenance activities. What I assess you on, right, is is given in the BTEC criteria um, and it's how I meet that criteria with the assessment I write. So if I can write it for a distance learning, for example, I can stand in front of you and talk about um, flight service certificates with one in my hand and give them all out in class and get you to do one and, and kind of look at that doing it online is a bit more difficult so i'm going to have a quick look and, and make that possibly that task or that criteria slightly slightly more um online friendly okay whether i set you some activities to do online and you learn it that way um don't know how that's going to work yet uh, stay tuned for that one merit point two you've done half of that anyway in the hangar if you did the alone cable tension check if you're watching this and you didn't do the alone cable tension check in the hangar don't worry there's an online guide for it and there's two videos outdated videos from a couple of years back but the information is still there um, I was going to go into the hangar and make some videos uh, and update those videos but we've been told to stay away from work as much as possible and, and basically have no social contact whatsoever so that might not happen now um, 
However, what I will do is I will make a video uh, around the, the boroscope, the second part of it, and hopefully um, go through the PowerPoint with you. The boroscope PowerPoint is basically the task. Yeah, if you look on the PowerPoint for boroscopes, you'll see everything that you would have done. It's a piece of equipment that looks inside an engine. Um, I'll put a little guide on there to how to complete that task for the second half of M2. Uh, and that'll get us assignment 4 cleared away. We're very close to doing assignment 4. Uh, it'll be probably going up at the end of this week for people to get on with. Uh, it's only a short assignment. There's only two pass criteria and a merit criteria on it. Um, what I would say is though, you are not at college physically anymore. That means please put some effort into your research and please put some effort into producing your best work because it might be that I can't give you a referral, okay? Um, referrals are meant to be authorised, kind of, you know, if you've done some really good work and you're just not quite there, you've made some little mistakes, they're not meant to be a matter of course thing where, well, I need a referral on this, okay? So please, at home, do your best work. Don't just hand it in and just, just smash it off because you think, oh, that'll do. Check it research it ask questions email me email ask questions is this all right is that all right can I, should i put this in should i put that in i found this information on the internet does this fit with the criteria things like that good questions okay um so good luck with that hopefully that the same might go live this week uh, and i'll give you time to put that in i'll discuss with mark and say about how much time other work you've got to do right um i am just waffling to a camera now which is really really weird for me um you know a few people have been on about theory of flight uh videos asking for a video on canards which is coming i'm going to i've got a, a typhoon and a, a sob gripping on ace combat 7 i'm going to fly them around a little bit i'm going to talk about canards and i'm going to do a lesson like this where we talk about the airflow of our canards uh, and i'll also do flat bronze and things like that um aircraft maintenance the paperwork i have no idea exactly how i'm going to teach you the the paperwork yet um yeah I, I i need to you need to look at the oh that's one thing i want to say before I sign off if you look at the powerpoints for aircraft maintenance and they look confusing remember they're not designed to be just looked at from home they're meant to be as part of a lesson okay so a lot of them are just pictures of aircraft paperwork systems that you won't know what's going on until it's explained to you so please bear with us on that one. I might try and get a projector up and then talk through a, like a big version of the uh, the, um, the the forms and, and how they all work and stuff like that. Uh, so bear with me on that one. That is coming. Uh, don't panic. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and stay safe out there. Okay. See you later.